it just exploded nationwide. It was a cultural phenomenon. What color is happier than purple? No color. This is Barney, and this is what he sounded like. Barney stands for inclusion, acceptance. You should love everyone. We all have Cheryl Leach to thank for that. As her love character was heading into the stratosphere, people couldn't accept that this was just a show. And, and so let the bashing begin. Some of the rumors that I heard, Barney hides drugs in his tail. They were violent and explicit. Death and dismemberment of my family. I love you, Barney. They were going to come and find me, and they were going to kill me. Just the dark side of this whole moment. That must have devastated Cheryl. There was something larger going on here. I don't think you could ever think somebody would go and shoot someone. Tommy, Jeff in Las Vegas, good morning. Hey, Jeff in Las Vegas. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today about your new documentary, I Love You, You Hate Me, streaming on Peacock. You know, about Barney the Dinosaur, that wasn't my generation. I'm Generation X, you know, but you could not, yeah. you'd be living under a rock if you didn't understand the influence and who Barney was and, and, its, and its reach. Uh, I mean, a whole generation grew up with that purple dinosaur. Just how big did Barney get in its day? Oh, my God. I mean, he was selling like just millions and millions of dollars of merchandise, selling out like 11 straight days of Radio City Music Hall in a row. There was a movie. He, it was just there was nothing bigger than Barney. I mean, in 1993, the creators of Barney called it their Elvis year because, you know, Elvis being so huge and all the news broadcasts at the time called it Barney Mania. So it's very like Beatles uh, esque. You know, I think nothing but positive thoughts when I think about Barney the Dinosaur, but your documentary shows a side of Barney I never knew. Tell us about it. You're, you're Gen X. So you, you only have positive things to think about a uh, uh, Barney. Come on. <laughs> well, no, I mean, it's what it's no, interesting just, was yeah. and purpose of Barney, but you know what I mean? I didn't watch it, but I knew of it. We made fun of it too when I was, you know. Right. Of course. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the people we talked to, like some of the college kids were of that generation of the 90s, uh, where it was just, you know, it was like, you know, it was Reality Bites. It was Jerry Springer. It was like, it was very much of an ironic sort of time period. And here comes this character that's teaching you about love and singing songs about cleaning up. It was definitely a weird timing for Barney to come in through this like 90s culture. But I mean, Barney was huge, huge for the demo that he was made for. It was this once you got to a certain age, you just learn to like not like Barney to fit in and to be cool. Like, I'm not a baby anymore. I don't like Barney. You know, so it's definitely a unique scenario in which the adults just hated Barney, but the children, I mean, loved, loved Barney. He was so successful. And just how far did the hate go in, in its final days? It got out of control, didn't it? For sure. I mean, there was the I Hate Barney Secret Society. The first time the word jihad was ever used on the internet was the Jihad Destroy Barney website. You know, I mean, you got to think that like when Barney came out, it was early internet. So, I mean, people just flocked around to collectively hate this thing that just annoyed them. I just think, you know, first and foremost, you know, hey, get a life, people. It's just a show. It's just Barney, right? <laughs> what what it harm was, can it is? It was the beginning of that. You were never going to have like, you know, uh, God, where it would have been like, I hate, you know, uh, Howdy Doody fan club. You know, it was like, because there was no way to access that. You could, you could think you didn't like Howdy Doody, but you never did anything with that information. But for the first time, you can kind of go online and be like, hey, does anyone else hate this purple dinosaur? <laughs> And you had no shortage of people willing to speak about how far the hate went for Barney, did you, in your documentary? No, I mean, when we, we, when we got robbed, the creator of the I Hate Barney Secret Society uh, in the chair, we were like, yes. You know what I mean? Because a lot of these, I mean, no one, like, you know, we have Steve from Blue's Clues in our documentary. We have Bill Nye, the science guy in our documentary. These people have managers and agents. You know, the guy who runs the Jihad Destroy Barney is a little bit harder to find sometimes, you know? You know, and also the cast and crew, they were dedicated to the show, weren't they? Yeah, I mean, they, 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 they made these, so Barney started with these tapes. It wasn't in New York, it wasn't in LA, it was this place in Allen, Texas, where they would make these like home video, they're actually right there on my, my shelf, <laughs> these like straight to the video tapes. And it was a family that made these things and they never thought, thought it was going to be as huge as it was. And then eight tapes later, they're on PBS and Barney's being shipped all around the world as it's like this mega star. So they all kind of came up together and, you know, I think, I mean, some of them probably thought Barney would be successful, but not mega successful like it was. 
Well, it got so successful. I remember being a Simpsons fan. Even Barney was on The Simpsons three or four times. You know, they made fun of him too. I mean, God, every <laughs> sitcom, I mean, Full House had Barney jokes. <laughs> <laughs> That's you know, I mean, it was mentioned like three times in Boy Meets World. Like it was just, I like friends made fun of it. You know, like it was, it was just always, always bashed. And the rumor is, is Barney ever coming back? Is there, you know, things always come back around? Well, I mean, the thing is, I, in 2010 it was canceled, and it felt like it was one of those situations where it was, it was cheaper to rerun episodes and make new ones. And the demo for Barney was such a small you know, spot where you had new, a new audience every three to four years. So, you know, it's still on Peacock. It's still on other streaming channels. You can find it really anywhere. Some of the older episodes, will they ever bring it back? I'm not sure, but I mean, it's definitely, I think after watching this movie, you'll have a lot more respect for uh, the purple dinosaur than you might've had before this. Well, Tommy, congratulations on a fascinating look at one of the greatest icons of the nineties. And uh, I know, right. I, this is fantastic. So thank you so much for joining me today and uh, good luck with the documentary. Thank you.